Elizabeth with Callie's Clips and Crochet Creations. Welcome to our mini C to C series or how to do mini corner to corner. In our first video, we talked about how to increase stitches. In the next video, we talked about how to change colors. And now I'm here to show you how to decrease your stitches. Once um, you've come, let me show you the graph real quick. We've been, uh, we haven't necessarily been working on this graph. We've just been kind of talking about how to work our way through it. So um, we showed the increases and then um, you're gonna work your way out to the furthest row, furthest corners. Hope I can reach that in there, it's close. Okay, so once you get here, um, row 15 around, you've come to row 16 well at this point we're going to need to start taking a stitch out every time so let me show you how to do that so let's just imagine with me that we're on row 15 okay so if you were looking at this now we talked about this almost matches <laughs> so we need to work these stitches along the edge so we can't keep going out we've got to line up with this so Let's, um, we've just finished up the very corner stitch. Instead of chaining four, you're going to turn your work, and let me move this so it's not in the way. Okay, you're gonna turn your work, and you're going to slip stitch over to the space. So we're instead of coming up again, we're just gonna move over. Um, I like to work just a couple of slip stitches, um, kind of loosely don't do it too tightly so now that gets us to our uh, chain space that we normally work in and then we'll just do that as we normally would chain two and work two half double crochets and you're gonna follow that along the row see let me pull this out for a second now this will be even instead of stepping up so we'll work in our blocks across, and since we're decreasing one block, we should have four coming down from five. So we'll work these blocks the same, slip stitch, chain two, two half double crochets, slip stitch, chain two. Oop, I'm losing my yarn here, hold on. <laughs> getting tangled. Let's have a little untangling here. I have some yarn cakes, but the middle of this cake is coming out. So let's stuff that back in there. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now, we've got one, two, three, four, and instead of um, slip stitching, chaining two, we just need to be even with it. So you're just gonna slip stitch to the last one. As you normally would, you just won't continue and that will even out and that should give you four. One, two, three, four. See how we're nice and even across there? So now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna turn our work and slip stitch over to this chain space. Again, I just loosely do a couple just along the top. You could do three. I just felt it was kind of bunchy and I just loosely do two. So now we're on two row, or decreasing down to where we'll have three. So chain two, work two half double crochet, slip stitch to the next block, be block number two, chain two, two half double crochet, <clears throat> and our last block will be number three. So slip stitch, chain two, two half double crochet. And since that's our third one, we just need to simply slip stitch in the space for the last one. So we're gonna do that again. We're gonna turn, I like to do a couple of slip stitches over to our space loosely, chain two, I've been filming all day and I fear I'm losing my voice. <laughs> so I'm determined to get this all recorded in one day. Gotta take the house when it's quiet. All right, two half double crochets and slip 
stitch to join, turn, and that was two, so we only need a little corner here. One more, so slip stitch to the corner, or to the chain space. Chain two, two half double crochet. Oh, I should have brought my scissors in here again, that's okay. And to finish it off, we will slip stitch. No, we're not quite done yet. Go ahead and turn your work and work your way to that corner again with a slip stitch. That way you're in that corner. Um, in my tutorial online, I think I told you to go ahead and work the edging. If you don't want to work the edging right now, maybe you want to make all your squares and then do the edging, that's fine. But I don't want to have to weave in an extra color. So if you're going to do the same color edging, um, which is what I did. I did the same color edging and then joined. Um, don't fasten off just yet if you're following our graph. But otherwise, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the border on our little square that we have here. So I hope that was helpful in teaching you how to decrease the mini C to C. You should end up with a small little five by five square. Um, if you found this video helpful, please give us a like. Let us know how you're doing with a comment below. If you have any suggestions or constructive comments, please leave those below as well. I'd love for you to subscribe. If not, come join us in the next video where we learn how to put an edge on our crochet work to get ready for a join. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.